In this video, we're gonna talk about the most common reason why people chicken wing or throw their elbows out when they're punching. And a really easy drill that you can work on to help fix this problem. And we're getting started right now. What's up martial arts friends, welcome to another video. If this is your first time on here though, my name is Nick and on the Karate Playbook we do all sorts of technique breakdowns, workout videos, and training tip videos just like this one to help you get the most out of your training and gain your edge. So one of the most common mistakes that we see throughout all martial arts as far as punching comes down to the idea of what they call chicken winging or throwing your elbow out before you actually throw your technique. So this comes down to a couple main reasons and we're just going to talk about two reasons why and a couple ways that we can work on fixing these. Alright, so the first reason that we have this chicken winging happen is when I think so much about power that I throw my body before my technique. So if you think about if I'm just standing here and I spin my shoulders and my hips, my arms are naturally going to go out to the side. So if I'm set up into a stance and I throw my shoulder and my hip, my arm will come out to the side just because it's naturally how your body is made to move. So what we want to think about is moving our hand and then putting our body behind it. So I have a full other video on that with some good training drills on uh, how to make your punch a lot more efficient and straightforward. So I'll toss a YouTube card up in the corner here just so you can check that out. But the main one that we're going to talk about in this is the second reason that we're causing this chicken winging and that's that I'm turning my fist over too early. All right, so when we're first working on how to throw a punch, we learn that we need to rotate this over and have our palm down, two big knuckles facing out, and that is very true, but what we sometimes neglect to work on is when to actually turn it out, all right? And even though we might teach it, we sometimes will not go back and reinforce it as much as we should. So when we're working on punching, if I start to roll this fist over because I know it needs to end up like this, if I roll it over now, you'll notice this elbow turns out. Your body is not built in a way where you can rotate the, your fist all the way over without bringing your elbow out. So even at the very end of my punch, when I do roll this over, my elbow will go out, but since my arm is straight, it's not winging out and it's not gonna make it obvious. So when we punch, we need to make sure that this stays out and then only rolls over right at the end. So a really simple way that we're gonna work on this is by using anything that you have sitting around the house. So in this case, I'll just use the stick to start. But from here, I'm gonna throw this punch out and only at the very end, I'm gonna rotate this over. I'm gonna pull it back and then rotate it over right at the end. Make sure you don't smack yourself in the face. As hilarious as it is, we don't want to have any teeth go flying. So from here, I'm going to punch this out, drop it over, pull it back, rotate it back. So you can use anything you want. If you don't have something like that, you can use literally a stick, you can use a pen, anything that you have sitting around. And we're just going to work on this to make sure we're only rotating right at the very end this way here all right so this is going to be a really simple way that you can train at home or in class and you can use anything you have sitting around the house All right, so we always love to connect with everybody that watches these down in the comment section. So if you get a chance, drop a comment. Just let us know what you think about these drills or if you have something similar to it, I always love to hear what other people use for their training. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have another video for how to make your punching a lot more efficient. And I'm gonna to toss a link right over on the side here. You'll just see the, the video pop up right about now. That, uh, that should help you out with making your punches a lot more efficient. But other than that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep you up to date with everything. But have an awesome time training and a great day. We'll see you in the next video. All right, peace. Tell me likey. Tell me want wingy.